I bought a $21,000 mixing and filling machine for candle making. Am I crazy for doing it or crazy for not doing it sooner? Today, I'm gonna to tell you about a new piece of equipment that I recently bought for my candle business. I'm gonna tell you what it is, how it works, show you some examples of using it, and then why I decided to go ahead and do it. But I'm super happy to have it and excited to tell you a little bit about it. So let's go ahead and get going. First of all, yes, it was $21,000. Well, a little bit less than that, that also included having it shipped to me in a crate as well. It's a fairly big piece of equipment, but not overly large. It's, it's pretty mobile, it will fit through a doorway. I would say, think of it like a deep freeze size. You'll see some, some pictures here, but yeah, it was expensive, it's definitely not cheap. Um, I also bought it during like the most expensive time you could have bought it, which was this year. So uh, it's probably normally a little bit less than that, but who knows? Now, why would I spend so much on a piece of equipment like that? We'll talk about that later, but it does really help me scale product and, and really meet the capacity that I need to be making anyways. Now, I did wait for about two to three months before I actually got it after purchasing it. So I paid about 50% down and then it took about two to three months. They are built um, per order and then shipped to you directly. And that took about two to three months. I got it in early July. The setup of it is super easy. I was a little nervous about that when I knew it was arriving in a crate. I thought I was gonna have to put certain components together and there's really none of that. I put a couple of handles like on the tank lid uh, and really just put a few minor things together. Like there was nothing to it. I mean, it took about as much time as it does to make a pot of coffee, so. That part was really nice. And then you also get some scheduled training. Oh, and I should mention, I bought this from Cougar Products, which is uh, in the Northeast here in the United States. Um, they make these tanks, these filling machines. They have all sorts of different options. Um, and I'm gonna tell you about the specific one that I bought, but they build and make these for candle companies all over the world. They're really heavy in the United States, Mexico, and Europe. So uh, they know what they're doing. They make great products. And they provide you with some documentation and training for once you receive the machine. So I did a kind of Zoom or a Skype training with them and and learned how to use the machine. And that training was very, you know, it was under two hours and it was basically how to use the machine. And then we went over the process to calibrate your different fragrance oils or different scents per candle. Um, and then talked about how to convert your current recipes. So I'll get into a little bit more of that here in a little bit. But now let me tell you a little bit more about the specific features of a machine like this and why down the road, as you continue to scale, why this machine is so much better than uh, other options out there. And I will leave the actual specific name of the machine. I can't remember because they have a few different options or variations. I will leave it on the uh, on the video and text and the description if you want to check it out if you're curious. But I've used machines like this in the past. Uh, well, let me back up. I haven't used machines like this one in the past, but I've used other filling machines and tanks. And the difference between those and this one is that the traditional tank just holds a bunch of wax. And then you can use that wax just as a big, large melter. And then you can transfer that wax to your pouring pots or do anything else. That's pretty traditional. Um, I've been doing that forever. I think most of you probably do that. Even if you're not using large tanks, you're probably using like Presto pots or something like that. The same principle. Then they have filling machines, which are essentially tanks of wax, like the previous example, except you mix in your oil and color into that tank and mix it all together. And then you can fill with like a little filling gun or a wand straight from that tank. The problem with those is you have to clean out the tank every single time you're gonna swap scents. Huh, what a pain in the ass. That's why I don't use those. It's just not practical. You would have to pour thousands of candles of the same fragrance and then every day maybe swap out and do a different fragrance. Just a logistical nightmare in my opinion. So I've never been a fan of those and I've just always avoided those. So I've kind of skipped that. This one, and I'll show you the details of how it works. What makes this such an amazing machine is that the wax is in a tank. So there is a traditional tank. I went with the one that was around 160 pounds. So it holds like three cases or whatever of wax at a time, which is which is fine. They do have a larger one too. Um, so it melts your tank or it melts your wax in that tank. But then the wand or the the, the hose that leads to the gun that, uh, that fills the candles is supplying wax from the tank. But then there's a separate line or a separate tube that is specifically for your fragrance oil. And then that tube runs through the machine and then it actually has a little scent line that goes into your scent jug or bottle or container. And if you have that jug already mixed with color, then that's all ready to go as well. So the line of fragrance, that stream of fragrance enters with the wax and combines and mixes right as it is going through the pouring gun into each jar. So it's literally infusing the two together while you're filling which is awesome for several reasons. You can swap out scents within a minute or two at the most. 
and you don't have to keep cleaning that tank out every single time you want to change fragrances. That is amazing. So swapping fragrances is no problem at all and you can do it as much as you need to or as little as you, as you want. It's, it's totally up to you. It is a way more efficient. You're not wasting as much product and you're certainly not wasting as much time every time you want to change fragrances. So you'll see in some of this footage of that wand that I'm talking about and that wand has a little button on it which is basically the trigger and when you press it the the wax and the scent combine and come out and fill your jars. And then the way this works is there's actually a computer panel where there's got some controls on it, like your uh, your main power, your tank power, your uh, hot box. It's got a hot box to keep the wand and everything warm as well so that wax doesn't solidify in the hose or anything like that. Uh, it has controls for pour speed. It's got controls for uh, your scent pump, your wax pump, and a calibrate switch, and all these little fancy gadgets. And really, it kind of looks overwhelming, but it's very easy to use, and it's very repeatable. And what's cool is the purpose of these controls is that you can create a, a process or a recipe or however you want to call it for each of your jars. Without getting into too much detail um, and, and overly boring anyone, you basically program the controls so you know what wax you're using, what jar. And so that never has to change unless you change your wax or change your jar. Uh, and then the only thing you really have to figure out is the difference in the scent because fragrance oils have different densities. And so one of the steps of this machine is you calibrate your fragrance oils. And there's a very simple process to doing that. It takes a few minutes per oil to calibrate it. And then there's a little dial or control that you, based off of your calibration, you know what to set that dial to. And that ensures that you're supplying the right amount of fragrance oil with the right amount of wax for that jar. So if you always use the 10% fragrance load, for example, well, 10% of one oil is different than 10% of another oil because they weigh different. The, the volume and the density is different between those oils. This process ensures that that's always the exact same. It's, it's, it makes sure that you're getting the exact right amount of fragrance oil with wax for your formula, for your recipe. And then you set the pump speed, which you figure out the first time you ever use the machine. And you can set this to work for for large candles to medium-sized candles, all the way down to clamshells and even tea lights this thing can do, which is awesome. Now, I did this in a standard nine ounce straight-sided jar, and you'll see that again here in the video. But what's cool is once, once this is all programmed and set, you don't have to keep doing this every time. It's just like a one-time thing to get it set. And then when you're ready to start, you hold the wand over your jar, you hit the red button, and that starts releasing the wax and fragrance right into your jar. And then it, once it fills it exactly right, it actually stops. So it knows the fill based off of the work you did earlier. And it will, you'll hear a little chime or a little ding, and then it stops uh, dispensing the wax and the fragrance into the jar, and you move to the next one. Rinse and repeat. And it's just so quick and so easy. I was pouring hundreds of candles in the same amount it would take me to do just a dozen candles. It was crazy. And that was me the first time ever using the machine. It was going that fast. So as you can imagine, the more you use it, the easier, the faster it goes. In fact, the second time I went, I made, I think, 200 candles uh, in, the, in the same amount of time that it took me to make 100 the first time. So I was already getting faster. You get faster and smoother at swapping out your scents and uh, and just learning how to kind of speed processes up. So you, you just get more comfortable using the machine like, like anything else. And speaking of which, you can actually make up to 1,300 candles an hour with this machine. That's crazy. I mean, it's absolutely insane. I don't need to make that many. I need to make a lot, but I don't need to make that many. <laughs> now, granted, you still have to like prep your jars and trim your wicks afterwards, but the filling part itself is just a huge time saver. I mean, think about your normal pouring process, right? So you melt your wax, you wait for the right temperature, then you weigh out your wax, and then you weigh out your fragrance oil. You mix that in and stir that. Of course, if you're using dye, you blend that in as well. You're mixing for a minute or two, and then you go pour your candles, however many that pouring pot will fit. That can be anywhere from four candles up to eight candles or something, something usually in that range. And then you gotta rinse and repeat and keep doing that over and over and over, pouring four to eight candles at a time. Well, in that time, I've already poured 100 candles with this. It's, it's pretty incredible, and I'm super stoked to have it. In fact, when I was down at the World Candle Congress this past year in New Orleans, uh, back in uh, May, I think it was, um, I heard people kind of talking about this machine, and there's other companies that do some similar machines as well, although this is the one I heard the most about here in the U.S. And everyone kept saying, oh my God, you're going to be... You're just going to be so happy when you get it. It's going to feel like a ton of bricks off your shoulders. And it's just going to change the way you run your business. And I already can tell you, I know exactly what they mean. It's just a lifesaver as a candle maker, especially if you're already at capacity. And what I mean by that is if you're at a point where you just can't even keep up anymore, whether that's by yourself or with a team, if you were ever at that point that you just can't make enough, this is probably something where you want to start considering, at least looking at, because it's incredible how much more 
production you can do in a shorter period of time. Now, that being said, I'm not sharing this to convince any of you that you need to go rush out and spend 20K to buy a machine like that. That's that's silly. I mean, I've waited till this long to, to do it myself. What I'm just trying to share with you is the excitement of like what you can do in this industry as you scale. It's awesome. If you're a small business and you're just getting started, don't even think about this. It's just for fun and like you can see what you can do and it's really cool. And that's why I'm sharing it. It's just interesting to see what you can do. It might be hard to see in the camera. I was more focused on the machine more so than, than what was going on in the camera. When I went to make my first batch, the first thing I actually did was I uh, calibrated the oils or the scents that I know I was going to need to make a first couple of batches. So I took like five or six of my scents and I calibrated those oils. And I'm not, again, I'm not going to go into the weeds of how that works. It's, it, do, it will not make any sense unless you actually have this machine. You're essentially just trying to figure out at what rate you need to supply fragrance oil through the scent tube to meet up with the wax that's getting dispensed so you always have the right amount. That's, that's really all calibrating does. And uh, I did that first for all the scents that I was going to be using. And once I was done with that, and that honestly took longer than it did to make the candles, <laughs> which is awesome. But once I did that, I, I prepped uh, my fragrance oil and color. So I took some jugs um, and they're basically like you would use for windshield wipe wiper fluid, those kind of jugs. And I put in two, three or four pounds of oil into them. And then I mixed in uh, that amount of color for, for that much oil that I would use. And that's easy to do. If you already have existing recipes, just multiply everything to figure out how much you would need for that much wax or that much fragrance oil. Um, and so it's really just multiplication. Anyways, you mix all your color and your fragrance oil together in those jugs. The oil and the dye are already one and the same now in a jug. And then the next step is pretty easy. I set the control for the scent pump speed to what I figured out earlier when I was calibrating the oils. And then I put the scent tube into that jug of color and fragrance. And now that's it. It's time to fill the candles. And I, like I said, filled several candles of several scents very, very quickly, swapping out scents in between. So I've mentioned a few times about formulas and recipes. And uh, for those of you that have been on this channel for a long time, you know that uh, a particular software called CraftyBase has sponsored this channel for a long time. And I was a user of CraftyBase well before this channel. The reason I'm mentioning this is for any of you that are newer uh, to my channel, new, newer to some of these videos, or hadn't seen my previous videos talking about CraftyBase, well, first of all, I have one linked below if you wanna check it out. It's an overview video. But the reason I'm bringing it up now is when you hear me talk about recipes and formulas, that's what I use to track all of my recipes and my formulas. In fact, I use it to track my inventory, my raw material inventory, as well as finished goods. And so now that I have this machine, I need to change some of my recipes in Crafty Base because my recipes were based off of me making eight candles of this size at a time. And I had a recipe for that. Well, now this machine can make one candle up to a thousand candles at a time, whatever I want to make, right? However many I can make before I got to reload the wax. And so I'm going to be changing my recipe by doing it per candle instead of per batch, like per eight candles, I'm going to back it down to per candle. And that's going to be very easy because my formula, my recipe did not change by using the machine. It's just a different scale. And so all I'm really going to do is take my current recipe of, of a batch of eight candles and divide it by eight. And, and that's what I'm just going to change. So I'm going to look at it as a per candle basis at this point. But more importantly, recipes in Crafty Base allow you not to just set up your specific materials and how much you need of each material, but it also notes about your process. So in this case, now that I have this machine, I can put in the recipe, the pump speed that I need, the, uh, the scent program that I need, or the scent speed that we did when we calibrated. I can say even how many I can do in an hour or something like that. I can make any notes about the process that I want. How much dye per two pounds of oil, for example, do I wanna mix in my uh, scent containers or my scent jugs at a time? But you don't need this machine to use Crafty Base or to document your recipes. In fact, I would highly recommend everyone use some form of recipe tracking um, regardless of your scale. It's how you make consistent products and it's just, it, it's so helpful as a business owner or someone even doing it for a hobby to know how much materials you're using per candle, what that's costing you, maybe some recommendations on what you should charge if you're selling those products. And it's just a great application, a great tool to track your inventory expenses and so on. So again, if you're interested in learning more about Crafty Base, how it works, what you can do, just like an overall overview of it, um, I will have a video highlighting the main features in the description below, as well as a link to try it out if you would like to. That's the next step for me, is now that I've kind of got comfortable with the machine, I'm going to just start converting my recipes, changing them now uh, in Crafty Base. So I'm actually looking forward to that. That's, I, that kind of geeky, nerdy stuff is always fun for me. I don't know. I don't know about anyone else. All right, so you probably understand why I wanted to 
purchase this machine. And it's mostly about capacity. It allows me to do so much more production in much less time. I'm really paying for time back more than anything, right? I can make an entire month's worth of candles in a couple days. And rather than making more and more every single day, just to try to keep pace for what I need for the entire month. But it's not just about capacity, it's also about efficiencies. And by that, I mean, often when I'm making candles and at the very end, I'm wiping a little excess out of the pouring pitcher, right? Or sometimes I weigh a little bit too much or I have a little bit too much extra or something like that, right? And, and sometimes I'll make fun little extra candles out of them and, and that's all fine. But for me, I'm, I'm less concerned about what I'm losing on materials as far as that kind of cost and I'm more concerned about what I'm losing in, in time. So that's what I mean by uh, increased capacity and being more efficient. And what's cool about a machine like this is this is still considered hand poured candles. You're not using some kind of automated assembly line where, where your jars are just moving along rollers on an assembly line and they're getting wicked automatically and then they move and they're getting dispensed automatically with wax and the wicks is getting trimmed and then they just move along a conveyor belt and every part of the process is automated. Not that there's anything wrong with that either. I mean, that's, that's what large companies do. And if you get to that point, you're, you're doing pretty awesome, right? Uh, but this is actually still hand poured candles because the only change is that you're not pouring out of a pouring pitcher, you're pouring out of a wand. It's still done by you. It's still one person person at a time that's doing this. So tons of companies that do hand pour products have started to move to these machines as they start to scale up. So I really love that aspect of it as well, that it's very efficient, it's very productive. It feels like you've got 10 people helping you rather than doing it by yourself, but it still fits the mold of a small hand poured business. So it's great. I really, really can't say enough things about it. It's all been pros, no cons, other than price. <laughs> it's definitely pricey. And, and that'd be my only complaint. I, I feel like it definitely could be less. Yeah, it's extremely well built, very well built. I mean, it's the price of like a standard car. Now, granted, that car can't mix and pour candles, but still. Well, at least this asset actually makes you money and cars just kind of cost you money. So I guess there's that. Anyways, thank you guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for being here. Hopefully you made it to the end of this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section. You know, first of all, I guess what you think of the machine, if you if you want to if you want to talk about it at all. But I'm also curious, each of you, how many candles you make on a monthly basis. Just really curious because this channel is full of brand new candle makers making anywhere from zero to 10 candles per month, all the way up to people making tens of thousands. So I am super curious how many each of you are making. Check out this next video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're interested in any more videos about candle making or running a small business. Give this video a like and I'll see you all next time. Got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Gotta 